Hello guys, this is Abhi from YouTube Studios again. This time we are going to create something which is called Spirograph. So the animation we are looking at right now, we are going to make it. So the other day I found this video. Um, let's share it with you. So just wait and we will see the real world soon. Okay. Uh, this is what we are going to make today. Uh, of course, we need a plugin uh, and this is uh, Red Jam Trap Code. If you don't have one, uh, you can go to the website and download a uh, free trial version. Okay, let's create a new composition and start with we are going to use the letter Z. Let's change the position. And if you watch the video clearly, uh, you see we need a uh, circle like thing which will uh, rotate around the object. So we're going to start from that. You go to your shape and select circle and create a circle. Uh, this is going to be our circle that will go along our text. Now in your now, in order to move this circle along our text, we need a pathway because manual animation is not a good, <laughs> good idea here. So, we're going to build that first. So, first thing you need to do is add some guideline to center the, the center of our circle. This way, we know where our path should be. So, we're going to build the path now. Select our text and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Uh, now increase the stroke. Now if you increase the stroke and can't see anything change happening, then simply uh, add a color in our stroke. Increase the stroke carefully so that it match our guideline. Now go to the layer, uh, auto press. Using the unusually default set uh, default setting for the auto press. You can see our press is done. Now we're using this path to drive our circle. And the first thing we will we add the path uh, as a pathway of the circle. So we need to change the center point of the circle as it is now way below uh, from the center point. So press Y key and change the constraint position to the center of the circle uh, now uh, from the shape to uh, press P so that it show the position select the path from the mask that we just created then press ctrl C to copy the path and paste it in the uh, position of the, our circle now it's moving along the path now if you think uh, the speed of the our animation path animation is not okay then we can easily retime it if we select all the key and press and hold alter key and drag the key on a left so that our animation will be faster now select all the key press ctrl c to copy it press ctrl v to paste it a couple of times so that we get enough loop to make our animation uh, just like the reference video that we just saw I'm going to paste it uh, or several times. Uh, it, uh, remember, the more it loops uh, along our text, the more the detail you will get uh, in the final result. Uh, we are going to watch the video again. Now, if you notice, you can see the circle like things. It not just rotate uh, along the text, also it rotate itself. So we are going to build that. Now select the circle shape, draw another circle inside it, while it is selected. So now we got uh, a circle inside another circle. Now if you scroll the time slider, you will see the first, our first circle is moving along the text, but it's not rotating at all. So alt click in the rotation and write time star uh, 300 and now you, if you scroll the 
slider you will see the uh, circle is rotating itself now I need in uh, the rotation in other direction so I just put a negative mark in the front uh, increase the number match the speed that you like so I'm going to check and see what uh, which one is work for you so this is look is good this looks good so next we are going to create a null object uh, we are going to place it in the center of our second circle which is circle insert circle okay, and we are going to parent it with our shape layer so our null is now following the center circle and rotating around the shape layer the outer circle so let's, next we are going to create another solid let's apply a trap code particular so our particle is generating now let's create a light uh, a point light actually so we are going to use the slide to generate the trap code particular now select the particular layer and in the inter type select light now if you read this message carefully you will see uh, any light that is uh, named after the named which name is start with the emitter will be used as the emitter of the particular system so we just rename our light and it is now generating from the position of the light let's uh, change the velocity to zero set the velocity velocity random to zero velocity distribution to zero and velocity from motion to zero uh, we don't need uh, x y and g in size so set all them to zero Now we are going to parent our uh, light emitter to the null object. Let's change the position of our light and place this to the center of our second circle. And scrub the time slider and you will see uh, the particle is not, not generating and it's getting something wibbly type of shape. Now don't worry about it. It's just because our the default light in After Effects are always in 3D space, where our null object, which is actually the null one layer, is not a 3D layer. This is what causing the problem because a um, 3D layer is now following a 2D layer. Even though oh, it may seems like that we position our light in exactly uh, where the null is but uh, if you uh, go to the go to in 3d view you will see the light is not uh, right in the position of the null object so what we are going to do now just click uh, the active camera and go to the custom view 1 or 2 or 3 and now you see the position of our uh, null and, and the position of our light not the same so we're going to fix that now if you go to the left uh, you can use uh, any guide and set the position of the light at the uh, top of our null object now go to the front view and you'll see the the position is also needs to be changed here so we're going to fix that now remember guys this is the most important part of this tutorial because if you mess up with this uh, you will not get the same effect so now if you scrub the time slider 
you'll see we're almost there so now it's time to change the setting of the trap code particular and with some setting adjustment we'll, we can achieve the same result uh, that we see saw on the on that video so let's uh, keep following my lead so I'm not going to talk over about the trap code particular here I'm pretty much sure all of you guys uh, know about trap code particular and if you don't uh, let me know in the comment box I will uh, make an, another tutorial about just uh, the trap code particular so keep following what I am changing to achieve the same video and remember you don't have to follow my uh, exact setting or you don't have to use my exact setting change some of the setting and you will get some interesting look and try to be more creative with it because at the end of the day that is what matters so we are done uh, it looks like almost the same as the video now the pattern you are looking at right now you can change it uh, by simply change the position of the null object so we change the position of null object now hide every other layer now scrub the time slider at the end and in this case uh, the result is not looks good so we're going to change the position of our null object again uh, change the position and scrub this time slider at the end uh, now you can see we now we have different results change the position again and now it looks like something interesting there is another way actually to change the shape that you are looking at right now and it's the keys that we set in our shape layer so select all the keys uh, press and hold walter key from the keyboard and then scale down or scale up the keys you will get you will get different results based on the key position uh, and some of them may look weird and some of them may look good uh, it depends on the scaling so that's pretty much it and uh, there is another way actually to change the look of it change the how it looks or make it interesting so then that is uh, in our uh, track code setting So guys, this is it for our first part, uh, we're going to change the look of it uh, in our next tutorial, next part of this tutorial, uh, we're going to make it 3D and now what you can do is try to do something interesting with it and of course hit the like button if you like it and hit the unlike button if you don't so that i know i need to change this style of my tutorial uh, don't forget to comment or share uh, also very very important thing uh, is to subscribe thank you guys